the icbi the nippon foundation mathematics package for uh, teachers title of the video angle formed on a semicircle is 90 degrees take a circle first we have to form a semicircle when you fold this circle into two halves then you get a semicircle fold it and then make a very strong crease very strong crease now we have a semicircle so what we can do you mark the one end of the diameter as a and other as b that means we have a semicircle with the diameter a b now we have to prove that you take any point on the circumference of uh, the semicircle and that angle formed on the circumference with a b as the base is always 90 degrees how will you do this let us take a point let us take any point and call that as c call that as c so let us join ac and then the cb should be joined so what we can do now uh, you can use a scale to join these points now we have already folded the line ab now fold the line ac fold the line ac and make a strong crease okay now fold the line c b and make a strong crease okay when you release it you get a photo circle when you fold it you get a, a triangle a c b now our task is to prove that angle c is always 90 degrees that means an angle formed on the circumference of a semicircle is 90 degrees what you can do you take a, a, a square or a rectangle and clip it at the end then you always get an angle which is 90 degrees now you can place this angle 90 degrees on that point you will notice that this is 90 degrees that means the angle formed on a semicircle the angle c is 90 degrees now this uh, concrete experience will be very useful for uh, the visually impaired child to understand uh, this concept now the strong creases will also help the child to feel it now take another point we have proved that uh, at point c the angle acb is 90 degrees let us take another point d call it uh, d now we can also prove that the angle formed at the point d that is a d b is also 90 degrees so what we can do we can connect these uh, points right you can use a scale to connect these points and uh, now fold the line a d line a d and make a very strong crease right and then fold the line d b d and b and then make a strong crease 
okay now we have to prove that angle D is 90 degrees so what you have to do you take this piece which has uh, the 90 degrees and then place it on the angle D you will notice that it is a right angle that means it is 90 degrees you can take at another point take another point and call that as E so what you have to do you have to prove that A E and E B when you make an angle at the point E in such a way that uh, A E B becomes a triangle you have to prove that angle E is 90 degrees so what you can do now you connect uh, the angle lines a line A E that is connect the point A with the point E and then you connect the point E with the, the B you know you have to get the approximate one because we have to prove this uh, concept that is very important okay now so a e b is a triangle now take this angle and place it on e you will notice that angle e is 90 degrees that means the angle formed on a semicircle semicircle is always 90 degrees and uh, these uh, creases you know these strong creases will help the child uh, to understand the concept you can reverse it and uh, you know the child can feel it also so this kind of tactile experience will be very helpful for uh, the children to understand the abstract concept so you can take uh, any point on the circumference and prove that and uh, you can use the other uh, side of uh, the circle and then uh, you know take any number of points and uh, help the child to understand that uh, any angle formed on a semicircle is always 90 degrees i hope you like the video and uh, see you soon with uh, another video